those ones are there, but for most to minimize the adverse effects of this technological change on employment, what they do is they enter into this thing called the group of companies, all right? They enter into this thing called, called group of companies and, and that's so one thing you must know about technological change is that if you rely too much on technological change to grow, there are some adverse effects for labor, okay? There are some adverse effects for labor, all right, okay. So we should note that even in periods of high growth, the distribution may be unequal, exactly. You can even have very high growth, the distribution will not be equal, all right, it will not be equal. And typically it is the poor that suffers the most in most of these situations, it's the poor that suffers the most. Some will face extreme poverty and hardships and so, there will be the need for the for redistribution policies to more or less avert some of these hardships. Sometimes to you don't have to promote equality. What you have to promote is what is equity. All right, equity. There are some people who must benefit, even if so more or less. So this is what I'm trying to explain. You don't need if the country is enjoying high economic growth. You don't need necessarily to say. Well, to share the government, everybody must get 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. No way. Some, the 50 will not do anything to them. Some, the 50 will mean a lot to them. All right? So in some cases, some have to get 50, some have to get 10. There should be some way of redistributing it. Okay? There should be some way of redistributing it so that the gains become relatively what? Fair. So <clears throat> empirically, the relationship between economic growth and income distribution is not clear. All right, so this is something that is more of an empirical, it's more of an empirical issue than. So redistribution policies are pro-poor policies to make economic, to make growth, to make growth share growth. All right, so, to, so it's more of to, for the economy to enjoy, so for everybody in the economy to enjoy the growth relatively, there are some redistribution policies that are needed, and these redistribution policies are more pro poor oriented. Let's give the poor more than those who are relatively rich. That's the most important thing. Here, the increment in real GDP is redistributed through government interventions and blah, blah, blah. All right. So, sometimes what they do is so I don't know if you know about this program, LEAP, Livelihood, livelihood Against Something, Something, uh, Poverty. So, it's a poverty a program that the government implements. And what they do is they, they, they more or less give cash, cash benefits to um, the poor. So they've, they've, they manage to use various analysis to determine which parts of the country and even um, which people are much poorer. And then there's some cash, cash that is laid out to them directly. It's one, of, one example of a pro-poor policy that the government of Ghana is adopting to do it. To, 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 to more or less ensure that the poor benefits from the growth that the, 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 the economy is enjoying. It's just one aspect, livelihood against poverty, exactly. The livelihood, em livelihood empowerment against poverty, exactly. All right, so livelihood, thank you very much, and Rachel, all right? Livelihood empowerment against poverty. It's one example of a pro-poor policy that the government is using. Even though it's targeted against, it's targeted at reducing poverty, it's another way of ensuring that the people do what benefit from what the growth that the country is enjoying. And that brings us to the end of the class. I don't know. Do you have any questions for me? Right from the, so this class is not going to be, it's not, it was not going to be a very long one because of the type of things that you are supposed to go through. <coughs> Okay. Is there is there any question for me? So so should I take it like you've understood everything that I have I've taken you through, or you need some time to just read over them and then be comfortable with them?
All right, so I can, I can see people are worried about the calculation that we did. All right, all right. Okay, so, so this is just a very simple, um, you know, this thing about present value and future value. Okay. Um, so you know this thing about present value and future value. It's the same thing you are seeing here. Okay, so this is the future value. This is the present value. This is the interest rate, and this is time. Okay, it's the same thing that we are trying to go over. So this is the future value. This is the present value. This is the interest rate, and this is time. So if we know the difference between the difference in years between 2010 and 1960, that is the time here. If you know what the growth rate is, it is the interest rate that you know. This is the present value, what the value is in 1960. So this is the future value of what it will be in what? In 20, in, in 20, um, in 2010, right? Is that clear now? Is that clear now? So, so those who ask questions related to the calculation, is that clear now? All right, okay. okay. I don't have a worksheet with me where I am now. So, 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 so just, 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 just take your time and go through it. Definitely, definitely I will have, I will have, either I'll do that myself or I'll get a teaching assistant. I'll get a teaching assistant to do that, the tutorials, those asking about the tutorials. Okay, yeah, and then there are some one or two questions I wanted to respond to, but now I have too many messages, I don't know which. I don't know which one to respond to. Okay. All right, so, so let me allow you to unmute and ask a few questions. So just raise your hand if you have any question you want to ask. I'll allow you, let's do that for the next 10 minutes and close. So we'll close on the 30th minute, 230 exactly, then we close. All right, so if you have any question, you can just raise your hand. I will allow you to unmute and then I will provide you with a response. Any question, guys? Yes, Prisla. Prisla, have on. I want to know what's the difference between GDP and the GMP. Oh, so GDP and GNP, the difference has to do with this next factor income from abroad. So you subtract NFP from GDP and then you get what? GNP. Okay. Next factor okay. payments from abroad. Do you know what the next factor payments from abroad is? No. Oh, so the, for instance, the NFP for Ghana will be the contributions of Ghanaians outside the country, less the contributions of foreigners inside the country. Okay. 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 Yeah. You remember it now? Yeah. All right. Okay. Angie, you can unmute and ask your question. Thank you, sir. Please, is there a difference between standard of living and level of living? Okay, so I don't know what this level of living you are referring to, but it is standard of living that we have been talking about all along. Okay, standard of living that we've been talking about all along. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Modrina, you can unmute and ask a question. Thank you. Can you explain how and um, how we calculate the net income? I can't hear you. 
Can you, can you go over how we calculate the net income? Net income. Net income. Which one is the net income? Last, 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 and on last, 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 Okay. Um, I don't have I don't have that slides on this computer. Don't don't worry. When we meet the next time, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll take you through that. Okay. Okay. When when we meet the next time, then I'll I'll, I'll take you through that. All right. So, so if you don't have if you don't have any more questions, let's let's just end it here, and then um, and then we end the class. Yes, Clifford. Sir, yeah. please. Uh, I wanted to ask of the recordings when they could be made available for us. Because I have to, of... frankly, I have to do a different one and send it to you. As I told you, the account I'm using is not mine. In fact, I may even have to move away totally from the Zoom and use the Microsoft Teams as as as, as recommended by the department. Okay. 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 So I may do it in the Microsoft Teams and send it to you. So, so that means we'll get the previous classes too. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. So so let's. Oh, okay. So echo echo is. Have you guys seen your results? Because I know it has been entered, but there's one person here saying he's yet to see his results. Have you guys seen your results? Oh, the results are not yet in. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, I'll find out from the because I submitted it to the coordinator. So, I... all right, okay, okay, okay. I'll just cross check from the coordinator and then get back to you guys. Okay, all right. So, so let's let's just end the class now and then.